Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I will discuss the problem best time to buy and sell stock to from Leadco. So you are given an integer array prices where prices of i is the price of a given stock on the i day. On each day you may decide to buy or sell the stock. You can only hold at most one share of the stock at any time. However, you can buy it then immediately sell it on the same day. Find and return the maximum profit you can achieve. So the question tells us that this, uh, this array uh, the prices of stock on the given respective days we can complete as many transactions as we want we need to find out the maximum profit and before buying any stock we need to sold it before so we cannot hold multiple stocks with us at the same time right since we can make any number of transactions we will basically try to find out the peak point in the given area and try to use them to find out what is the maximum profit that we can make for example here you can say if we have 50 500 and 1000 so we know that we obviously buy at 50 and we want to sell it at 1000 right but if we look at these numbers the output that we would get is buying at 50 and selling at 1000 that is 950 right if we just combine 500 minus 50 which is 450 and 1000 minus 50 which is 950 right we can get the same number here you can see 1000 minus 500 which is 500 and if we add the 450 and 500 the result would be equal to desired output that we want so we can use this approach to simplify the solution we will essentially check that if my price at i is smaller than at price i plus 1 then just calculate the difference and add it to the profit because it will be a cumulative sum of all such differences so let's get into the code to understand better so here in this we will initialize ln with the length of the prices and total profit with zero and we will here check if length is equals to equals to zero then it will simply just return zero here we have to open the for loop Here we have to check if prices of i is less than prices of i plus 1 then you can add to the total profit the differences of, of i plus 1 to the prices of i and you can simply just return the total profit let's check the code So it runs successfully. Now check if it, it is submitting runtime error. Okay, here you have to minus one because uh, we are here increasing the i plus one, so that's why. So it runs successfully. Thank you.